Hello and welcome, dear friend. Our today's topic is a little different. This is a case of peripheral nerve surgery. Today we are going to discuss a case of malignant brachial plexus nerve sheath tumor and its microsurgical management. This is Dr. Farhad Hussain Choudhury from Dhaka, Bangladesh. A 28 years old female presented with pain at left side of her neck and also at the left side of her upper limb. Initially, the pain was intermittent but last one month it became constant, aching and more at night. Her neurological examination involving the all limbs were normal, especially left upper limb was also normal and vascular status of the uh, left upper limb was also normal. MRI of neck and brachial plexus including cervical spine showed brachial left sided brachial plexus tumor involving its upper part and extended up to the clavicle and it was contrast enhancing a little irregular and turn of the tumor entered into the intervertebral foramen especially 5, 6 and 6, 7. X-ray neck showed normal study. We went for CT guide definition that reported schwannoma. So after having conversation with the patient and his family we took decision for microsurgical excision of the tumor under general anesthesia the patient was positioned like in the picture and we used the supraclavicular transverse incision for exposure of the tumor and upper part of the brachial plexus so under microscope incision was given Supraclavicular part of the brachial plexus is exposed to easily with blunt dissection with the with the scissors. Retractor was used. One can see now the tumor so inside the tumor tumor was soft suckable biopsy was taken and initial part was seen to be less vascular but the deeper part near to the vertebral paravertebral zone it was very vascular and was difficult to control sometimes so cotton petty was placed for temporary control of the bleeding. Extreme microscopic angle was used for vision and complete removal of the tumor. Some part of bony part was also came out with the tumor and it was actually separated from the rest of the part of the vertebra.
So during operation, it was quite difficult to say from which trunk, root, or division was responsible for producing this tumor. But we managed to remove the tumor intercapsularly. So every branch of brachial plexus was safeguarded. After checking for the any residual tumor, we went for hemostasis. During operation, it was difficult for us to say whether it was benign or malignant, but the tumor was highly vascular. But there was no erosion of bones or any crossing of the capsule was not found. So after neotrodal removal, we concentrate for hemostasis. There is a lot of venous bleeding, so we put sponge stain for Cessation of the venous bleeding and wound was closed with a drain. After operation, the patient recovered well from the anesthesia and her neurological status in the left sided upper limb was completely normal. Her pain reduced but not cured. Histopathological report was in our hand on third post operative day that reported malignant nerve tissue anoma. We discharged her on fourth postoperative day and advised for consultation with an oncologist for further management.